Hey everybody, this is Melvin with Tech Running 24 seven. And in today's video, we wanna show you how to change the navigation bar on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And so first thing you need to do is go ahead and grab your Galaxy Note 10 Plus and take a look at the bottom of the screen. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see three symbols in white. Now these represent buttons, but of course you don't have any buttons on your Galaxy Note 10. You have a nice 6.9 inch screen. And so these represent buttons. Uh, the first with the three lines represents a recent apps button. The square looking button in the middle represents home and the arrow on the far right represents back. So recent apps is where you can hit it to see all the apps that you've had open previously that you didn't close. You could have like Facebook, Twitter, and um, say Yahoo open. And of course the middle square is home. Hit that to get back to your home screen, which is where we are now. Or hit the uh, arrow, which is your back button, which would throw you back to the page previous to the one you're at currently. And so in this video, if you've gotten tired of uh, using these, you can change it up and go to what we call full gestures on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So the first thing we need to do to go to full gestures, we need to uh, locate our settings button and mine is up here at the top right. Go open up your settings. And once the settings is open, go ahead and scroll down to display, then select display, and then scroll down to where you would see navigation bar. Tap on that to open that. And as you can see, we have navigation buttons already selected. And um, if you wanted to still keep the navigation buttons, but you would rather switch uh, the recent apps button to put it over here. You just go down to where you see button order and change the position. Of course, the home will still stay in the same spot in the middle. You remove your back button here to your right and you remove your, excuse me, you remove your recent apps button from your left here and move it to your right and then move your back button from your far right and put it to your left. And you just choose these the set of buttons here if you want to change it like that. But in this video, we want to mainly talk about how to go to full screen gestures. So we're going to select full screen gestures here. Now what's new with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is that you have a couple of different gestures, full screen gestures you can do. And so we hit that option and you can have two different sets of where you can have these, these three dashes at the bottom or just one dash. What we're going to do first, we're going to go with this one first and explain how they work and uh, show you how to actually use them on the phone. Now the three dashes represent, the far left one represent the recent apps button, the middle one here represents your home button, and the far right represents your back button, and then vice versa if you wanted to, if you got your buttons situated the opposite way. So what we're gonna do is take a look at the bottom of our screen, we'll see those three buttons all at the bottom, Again, this is going to be your recent apps. The middle is going to be your home and the far right is your back. And what you would do is just swipe up, like put your finger toward the, the dash and swipe up to go to your recent apps, same way to go home in the middle and the same way to go back on your far right. So we want to go home. So we're going to swipe that and we are back to our home page. So what we're going to do is open a few apps real quick and just kind of jump around to show you how to work the gestures. So let's go to our Google folder here, open up that, and then we're going to go to Google search. And of course in Google search, you got plenty of articles. Let's check out this one about the MacBook. We tap on that. And if you notice at the bottom, you have the, uh, the dashes there. And let's say we scroll down this article. And if we wanted to go back to the beginning of the article, we would want to go back. And remember, the far left is going to be our back button. So swipe up from there, like so. And we've gone back to the uh, home page of that Google search. And if we wanted to um, go home, we would go to the middle button here and swipe up. And now we're back to our home page. So let's go to Amazon real quick. Let's jump into Amazon and kind of look around real quick just to show you some other stuff. Okay, so like this ring doorbell, look at that. Scroll up if we want to go back to the previous page. Remember, we'll go over here to our right-hand side to the right-hand dash. 
swipe up and it will put us back to the home page of Amazon. Now, if we want to go back to our home screen on our phone, swipe up, we're back at our home screen. Now, let's say if we open up and uh, let's say Twitter, we're in our Twitter post here, looking at one of our, our posts here for about the uh, iPhone and Galaxy Buds. And so let's go back to our home screen. We'll swipe up from the middle and we're back to our home screen. Now, if we wanted to see, now let's do one other thing. Okay, let's go into our banking app. We have to sign in. We see our dashes here. Let's, so let's try to take a look at the apps that we currently have open. We swipe up from the far left, like so. You see it puts us in our recent apps. And our recent apps have been open is the Bank of America app, Twitter app, Amazon, Google, and our settings. And so to go back home again, we will swipe up from here and go home. And so we're back to our home screen, which is great. So that works out pretty neat and it looks really different. And say for instance, we want to go back and try, go back into our settings and take a look at the other way we can have our full gestures, full screen gestures. So go back to settings, open that, go down to display, open that, then go back down to where we see navigation bar. And we have been using the three dashes here for our full screen gestures. We will hit more. Now we want to go down to this one here, which it says swipe from sides and bottom. So on this way of doing your full screen gestures, you're going to only have one dash right here in the middle. So the way this works is you swipe up from the bottom in the middle to go back to your home screen and then to go back to a previous app, you will pull in from either the right hand side to the middle or you pull in from the left hand side to the middle to go back and to uh, pull up our recent apps you would go you would swipe up normally where you would do for home but instead of just swiping up and letting go you kind of swipe up and hold to see your recent apps so let's try that real quick and see how that goes and so we have that one dash at the bottom so swipe up real quick and we're back home so let's open up a couple of apps again let's see let's say facebook and uh, we'll say hit this page in Facebook. Now again, the way you work it is to swipe up from the middle to go back to your home screen. To go back to the previous page, you swipe in from the right end or you swipe in from the left end. And to see your recent apps is to swipe up and hold to see your recent apps. And so we're at this page in um, Facebook. And so we want to go back a page. So we're going to push put push in from the uh, far right and as you can see it took us back to another page and if we do the same thing to go back again we're going to do it on the opposite side so you can use either side and you probably would start using one particular side because that may be where you feel more comfortable so we're going to do it from the right side in from the left side in and it took us back to our home screen and so um Let's, uh, let's say, jump into this Twitter app. Look at it. Scroll up through Twitter. I don't know. Hit something like this. To look at the Twitter page itself. And again, to go back, we're going to pull it from the right, from the left end. Then we're back to the actual article. We're going to open it back up again. Or you can do it like that from the right end. And both ways from the side will take you back. Now, to go home, as we say, you would swipe up to go back to your home page, but we want to see the recent app. So you want to swipe up and hold. So swipe up and hold. And now you're at your recent apps, as you can see. We see Twitter, we see Facebook, we see our settings, and so on and so forth. So we're going to go back to Amazon right quick. Now, this is a something I need to show you guys too. Now, you get used to swiping from the bottom from the middle up to go back to your home screen see how that dash is you see the dash there but you see a little white a little white under it and so that's letting you know that you can go back to your home screen from that so now if we were to do that and we go back to our home screen if you look at that dash now the dash is different you don't need to go back home with this but you know you might want to try to go to recent apps from your home page 
Only thing is if you have your Samsung Pay set up on your phone and the dash looks a little different, it looks full. It's all the way to the bottom of the screen there. It's just not the uh, line and then you can see color underneath it. If you were to swipe up from it now, you would activate your Samsung Pay. You see that? You end up in activating your Samsung Pay like you're getting ready to uh, use it at the store. And so now you see the regular dash where it's just a dash. You can see the color of the page underneath the dash. Now, if you were to do it, that would throw you back home. So that's, that's just some of the ways you can do the uh, full gestures. We're going to show you that one more time so you won't be confused. Now, if you're, at your home, you're if you're at your home page already, you see, like I said, the dash is full. And you don't see any of the purple underneath it. If you were to do it, you're going to see your Samsung Pay. But now you see the dash. See how it is now? That's the one that will take you back to your home screen because it's the dash and then the screen is white and you can see the little white under it. So swipe up now, we're gonna be back home. Now it's full again. But if we were in, in Facebook again, let's say, and we were to go with a particular article, I don't know, like so. And again, to uh, go back, swipe, swipe in from the right end or from the left end, like so. It'll throw you back a page if we were to do it again. It's gonna throw you back one page more so that's about it for our video for today how to change your navigation bar on your galaxy note 10 plus and remember there was three different ways you can do you can have the regular navigation buttons with the uh, symbols or you can have the full screen gestures with the three dashes where it would be your back button home button excuse me your recent apps button home button and back button or you can do it like it is now with just the one dash and then you need to swipe in from the right to go back swipe in from the left to go back or we'll swipe up real quick to go home or swipe up and hold to turn on your recent apps so again this is our video for today hopefully we shared something that you can use and something that was beneficial if so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the like button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new content as soon as we release it. And again, this is Melvin with Tech Running 24-7, bringing you technology that's on the move. Thanks.